The following episode features a paintball stunt performed by questionable professionals. Accordingly, I strongly advise you do not try to recreate or reenact any of what you're about to see. Hi, I'm Dwayne Nichols. Welcome to Jacker. Uh, well, paintball in pop culture. G'day, I'm Dwayne from PBHQ, and this is the second episode of Paintball in Pop Culture. If you haven't seen the first episode, I'll drop a link in the description so you can go and check it out and learn a little bit more about what I'm doing here. For this episode, we're going to check out a clip from Jackass 3D. Uh, Will, Chris, and myself, we've put our ratings down, and this week, uh, we are joined by a special guest, a former pro player, an industry rep, a commentator, and the current coach of all things True Denology, Nikki T., a number of people reference this clip when talking about paintball. And whilst I hope that you haven't seen anything quite like this at your local field, this certainly put paintball in the spotlight for better or for worse. Uh, the movie, again, is Jackass 3D. The scene is duck hunting. Let's check it out. Me and the boys are about to do a little duck hunting. Whack, 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 whack. Pull! Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't know. When, when we jumped, somehow I got under him. He got on top of me, and he landed on me. His head smashed me. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That was hilarious. Now it's Parks' turn, and this duck's got a little more meat on him. Quack, 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 the whole back stings, so it feels like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 10 back? 11 right there in that one. All right, <laughs> since we load, get done on there. <laughs> Looks like Dunn's up next. Ready, see, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> this one's a gobbler for sure. Paul Bunyan's 40 foot fucking car. <laughs> you look like Buck Rogers going through time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like I was in, in the air for a fortnight. There you have it. Paintball has never quite been featured like that, and I dare say it never will be again. Jackass 3D was released in 2010 uh, to a huge audience worldwide. In fact, of the three Jackass movies, this was the highest grossing, almost doubling the other two combined. Uh, the YouTube clip of this video has been seen over 6 million times as well. I personally really enjoyed watching that clip, but we're about to find out how it fares on the scoreboard with the judges. Remember, we judge five separate categories out of 10, and we would love to see your ratings in the comments section as well. For scores, let's start with the glaringly obvious. Safety was not a feature of this clip. It was given a generous 1 out of 10 from Nikki T and received a 0 from the rest of us. Chris went so far as to ask if we could give negative scores, suggesting he would give a negative 10 if we could. This clip also doesn't portray paintball in any kind of normal way. Nikki T pointed out that it does portray how fun it can be to shoot your friends, which won't get any argument from me. However, it was another low scoring category overall. Equipment was a mixed bag. The markers that the cast appear to be using with standard gravity-fed hoppers didn't have much appeal for us. Will points out whilst they did have markers, there were no goggles to be seen other than the swimming kind. Influence scored a little better. Something about this clip really made me want to go to the field and play paintball. The same can be said for Nikki T, although he points out he definitely never wants to be the duck 
in this duck hunt. Lastly, audience. It should come as no surprise that this scored huge. Jackass is a global hit. It has enormous reach, which means millions and millions of people would have been exposed to paintball through this movie. Almost half of the clip's entire score was because of its audience. Uh, at the suggestion of some viewers from the first episode, we've decided to include the breakdown of all of our scores. Do you agree with us? Disagree? Think we're way off the mark? Let us know in the comments section. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep your eye out for the next episode of Paintball in Pop Culture.